So should you do New Game Plus? What are the differences between New Game Plus and Normal Hard Mode? Or normal a normal playthrough? And what is New Game Plus Plus? Okay, so in this video I'm going to go over the differences between a normal playthrough, a New Game Plus playthrough, and a New Game Plus Plus playthrough. So a normal playthrough, especially in Hard Mode, you're starting out, you get units as you go, you don't know how your conviction uh, opt or your conviction choices affect your stats for your convictions unless you look it up on a guide. So you're kind of playing a little bit blind. You can intentionally choose specific options to unlock specific characters as fast as humanly possible, but you'll generally have random characters. If you don't know what route you're going to be going on, you'll probably get random route specific characters. You'll be leveling up starting from level one. You'll have very few abilities. And as you approach the mid game, you'll start to get cool, crazy abilities. And then as you approach the end game, you'll start to get weapon skills that drastically change the way the game is played. So this is a normal playthrough on a fresh save. And then once you get to New Game Plus, the first New Game Plus, the first mission will be, I believe, level 36. So enemies will be, will all be higher level. So you can see here in this mission, this is essentially chapter two and everyone's level 50. This is a New Game Plus Plus where everything is level 50. So generally the difference between them is fresh save is the easiest by far. There are less damaging enemies. You tend to deal more damage or at least your damage isn't as like low as it can be in like, you know, level 50 new game plus. So like new game plus plus. Uh, but generally enemies won't be as much of a threat. It'll, you'll be able to tank more hits and things like decoy actually will deal damage, for example. So the first playthrough is always the easiest. And it might seem like it's the hardest because you're getting used to the units, you're learning the game. But that's generally your first playthrough. So New Game Plus, what it does is it allows you to keep all the units you have. And the only time you would not be able to use them if they it would be as if they specifically leave your party. So for example, there are some chapters where you can have, you can have Roland optionally leave and he'll be gone for like a chapter or two and then come back. But any unit that you unlocked, uh, like Maxwell, uh, Milo, Cordelia, as long as it's not like a map, like there's, there's specific maps where like Cordelia can't be used, but almost every other unit can be used at all times. You keep all of your items, they transfer over, all, the, all of your unlocks transfer over. The Sundry Shop, so if we go to the encampment, the Sundry Shop will sell a ton of stuff for character upgrades on your first New Game Plus so that you can upgrade everyone. Uh, in my case, he doesn't sell anything because he's all sold out. So if I go to the trade post, um, you can see here, he'll sell like, you know, a few, like a Medal of Bravery, some Medals of Valor, and he'll sell all these materials. So you can actually, if you don't need these, you can buy them with uh, kudos and then sell them for money. Uh, but that's the first thing that changes. And then Lionel's shop, his, uh, selection changes eventually he just sells a ton of superior iron like or superior materials so on your first new game plus he won't sell he won't have maxed out superiors he'll have a finite amount of stock so you won't be able to fully upgrade everyone so you'll have some units that are close to being fully upgraded by the end of it but essentially what happens on new game plus is everything gets faster so combat is faster things die faster your units can take less hits so I can demo that in this mission really quick. Everything is much faster paced, especially compared to a fresh save on hard. If you're playing on hard on New Game Plus, it's essentially very hard. And then on New Game Plus Plus, which is when you beat the game again, every single map is level 50. So when you're on New Game Plus, it starts out at level 36 and gradually gets up to level 50. And then once you hit level 50, that's max level. And then once you beat the game for a second time and do another new game, that is New Game Plus Plus. Uh, we'll just run this team. I'm not even. It, that team looks fine. It's like basic starting team. So those are the diff the main differences between them. Uh, New game plus plus. You have access to like basically infinite superior resources, so you can buy as many superior materials as you need to finish your upgrades, and you can always do like a farm. There's like a 20k per like three to five minute farm. That's pretty good. It's uh, one of the mock battles. It's like the arena mock battle. Uh, I have a video on it, and some other YouTubers, I think like one or two other YouTubers covered it as well. Uh, but I'm just going to show, so let's just put Anna in danger, let's just see how fast she dies. <laughs> see. Yeah, she's already at half health. 
So a single basic enemy attack, backstab, put her at half health. So this is the, the pace of new game uh, plus plus. Level 50, like le level 50 maps on this on hard mode are no joke and things die extremely fast. So you need extremely viable strategies and you can't make positional mistakes like this or you will be heavily punished and easily lose. So, so those are the main differences. Now, should you do New Game Plus? Uh, it's completely up to you. I would argue that the game becomes better during New Game Plus. I would say that the, the game kind of unlocks itself. Like, it, it allows you to experiment more. You have all these crazy weapon skills to try out interesting and different team comps. The game really opens itself up for experimentation and, in my opinion, for fun. It, it, it basically becomes a more competitive more difficult game and there are broken units that you can use but i would avoid them um, but overall if you enjoyed this game and you want to play around with more classes and more units new game plus and new game plus plus are, are like perfect for you and i would recommend doing them uh, they're just fun overall honestly like i've beaten this game i'm on my seventh playthrough i think i've, I've beaten hard uh six times new game plus and then new game plus plus and then a fresh save and then i'm about to beat hard on um a few fresh saves i'm doing deathless guides so i'm showing how to beat maps on deathless on a fresh save on hard mode uh but yeah i would say new game plus overall is pretty cool it's it, you know the game becomes harder not easier for the most part some people think that new game plus plus is a little bit easier than new game plus so like when everyone's level 50 and everyone's maxed out um I would argue it actually doesn't. It's just that you become better as a player, so it feels like that. I would say it actually is harder because the pace of combat is extremely punishing. And uh, like if a mage has like 300 or 400 health and there's an enemy archer that can use like a, an attack skill or something, it can usually one-shot that mage. So it's it can be extremely punishing if anything is out of position, even for a single turn. So, But you get used to it, especially if you're doing hard mode and you just, you know, you're on your third playthrough you're going to be pretty used to things spiking you down one other thing to note is the first chapter for new game plus is not as it's much harder than everything else because it has forced units and forced positions and if any of those units are under leveled it's going to be annoying so the units that you want to have leveled up and you can still do mock battles like you can you can leave the first mission or just fail it and then um do mock battles to level up the units that are under leveled but these these five in the middle uh saranoa roland benedict gila frederica these all need to be leveled up so you can just you can do this before you finish the game or you can do this uh, at, like as you start the fresh save you can go to the encampment before you start the first mission and then just do mental mock battles to get everyone up to level 36 for your first uh playthrough uh, but the first mission, honestly, is disproportionately harder than everything else because you have, you know, potentially underleveled units. You're, like, Roland is just off by himself because that's how the map starts. So there's, like, specific strategies you'll need to use. Uh, I have two videos on this chapter, <laughs> I believe. Uh, one for a fresh save and one for New Game Plus. Uh, and then New Game Plus Plus, when everyone's level 50 on this map, the stakes are a little bit higher because now... The damage is high, like, you know, the damage, yes, you get more health as you level, but the damage is like you're getting put at 50% per hit, so <laughs> so you have to use, like, Dragon Shield, Miraculous Light. Uh, Roland can attack things and kite for a few turns, and you can Light Wave him after if you want, and then uh, you usually just go underneath the pier in the corner, and then enemies have to wrap around, and they can't, they can only approach you one at a time. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video for the new game plus explanation and should you do it i would say you should do it if you enjoy the game and you want to experiment with the different units and have fun like coming up with different team comps uh, pretty much every unit is usable even in hard mode so even if a unit is bad like i think i rated hasabara a c tier like she's still usable and can still do stuff she's not like completely useless or terrible like she can still be decent in any team because she can deal some damage and heal so that's okay but there, there aren't really bad units in this game. Uh, on a fresh save, some units are like take some time to pick up. Like Medina starts off kind of not that good because like you're you're blowing all of your money on upgrades, so to spend money on healing items is actually very annoying. Uh, but then once you get to new game plus and you just start making more money, then her using 
her gimmick, her TP battery gimmick, isn't nearly as bad. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, definitely like the video and subscribe. I'm going to be making more triangle strategy content. I am going to be covering three hopes in detail, Xenoblade 3 in detail, and I'm going to see how Diofield Chronicle is, if that's actually, like, I'm probably going to cover that as well. Uh, it's another Square Enix game. So, so yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for checking this out, and peace.